Welcome back, Desert Rose here. I have another word for my lovely daddy God. I will start with the personal prophetic, the, the scripture, then the main event. Let's go. God says, in the coming days, people need to put more focus on him than idols. They won't save you, he said. God says, if people can't acknowledge their idols, he will make it shown to them who their idols are. God says someone is worried their kingdom spouse won't love them because it's an arranged marriage. God says, don't worry, they will love you so much. Don't worry, cast all your fears to him. God says someone is praying for a car. He says, in time you will have one, be patient. He's getting things organized, his end for it to happen. Exodus 23. You shall have no other gods before me. Exodus 24. You shall not make yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or, or that is on the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Psalms 1, 15-17. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, the work of humans' hands. They have mouths but do not speak. They have eyes that do not see. They have ears but do not hear nor there is breath in their mouths. Leviticus 26, 1. You shall not make idols for yourselves or erect an image or pillar, and you shall not set up a figured stone in your land to bow down, for I am the Lord your God. Jonah 2, 8. Those who pay regard to vain idols forsake their hopes of steadfast love. First John 5, 21. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. First Chronicles 16.26 For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Romans 1.21-23 For although they knew God, they did not honour them as God or give thanks to him, but they became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Claiming to be wise, they claimed fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. Leviticus 19.4 Do not turn to idols or make yourselves any gods. Cast metal, for I am the Lord your God. Exodus 34.17 You shall not make yourselves any gods of cast metal. Psalm 96.5 For all the gods of the peoples were worthless idols, but the Lord made the heavens. 1 Corinthians 10.14 Therefore, my beloved, flee from idol idolatry. Acts 15.29 that you abstain from what has been sacrificed to idols and from blood and what has been strangled and from sexual immorality. If you keep yourselves from these, you will do well. Farewell. Isaiah 31, 7 For in that day everyone shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which your hands have sinfully made for you. Exodus 23.13 Pay attention to all that I have said to you and make no mention of the names of other gods nor let it be heard on your lips. My dearest children, some of you still idolise after movie stars and singers. You need to turn your focus back onto me as I am number one and I am your salvation. If you are having trouble letting go of idols, remember I am here too to help you. And I will let you know what you are to do. Remember, I have all the answers to anything. I'm here for you and I won't leave you to sort it by yourself. I love you all so much. With all my love, Daddy God, peace be with you. Thank you God for placing this in front of all who need to see it. If you feel led to sell into this ministry, click the link in the description box below. Not all words are for you, but if you feel they are, take it to the Lord for guidance. And I am offering free prophetic word. Email me at desertrose 6655 at gmail.com. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.